Hello and welcome everyone to this session on Mission May Mega X-ray Revision. My name is Dr. Janvi. I am the anesthesia educator on An Academy. I hope all of you are able to see me and hear me well because we are going to be having a very interesting session in which we will be discussing different X-rays and how they uh, corroborate with the clinical evidence. So first of all, I hope that all of you all are able to see me and hear me well. If the streaming is absolutely okay, please leave a thumbs up uh, in the chat box and I will be able to answer your questions I'm just trying to see if the streaming is okay, okay please yes thumbs up. so the streaming seems absolutely perfect so we can begin with our class for today so welcome to Unacademy all of y'all uh, it is India's largest learning platform and I am a gold medalist in anesthesiology. I teach anesthesia on the educator app on the plus subscription. So uh, this is my telegram channel let's crack neat PG in which if, when you subscribe you get the links to all the free classes that we take. So every day we take multiple free classes on YouTube as well as on the special class platform that is on the Unacademy app. So all of you all are invited to participate in these chats. Okay. Now this is the neat pg free test calendar for march the plus subscription on an academy helps you get access to both live and recorded classes you can learn from india's top educators and you can compete in live tests and quizzes the iconic subscription is a partnership between an academy and rep ladder in which you can get the live classes of an academy along with the video lectures and the question bank of rep ladder now this is an exciting code last few hours left for this by using this code unlock 20 you can get 20 percent discount on your unacademy plus subscription so you can use my code dr janvi live and get 20 percent off on your unacademy plus subscription these are all our fmg toppers in our special classes we have interactive live classes polls for the learners raise a hand option and lecture notes and these are the plus batches that are going on right now so we have the NEET PG 2022 All Educator Revision Batch, the Focus FMG Batch for uh, the ones appearing for FMG in June and uh, I highly urge all of you all to buy the Unacademy Plus subscription at least for a month so that you can be a part of these revision batches. Alright, so with that let's begin with our first x-ray for today. This is the first question, identify the sinus best seen in this view, frontal view maxillary Sorry, frontal sinus, maxillary sinus, ethmoid sinus or all of the above. What is the sinus best seen in this view? Which sinus is best seen in this view? Bolo. Okay, yes, the correct answer for it as most of you all are mentioning is nothing but the maxillary sinus. Okay, first of all, you have to tell me, yes, correct, show it. First of all, you have to tell me what is the view that you are seeing. This is an ENT x-ray and the view that you are seeing in this case is called as the water's view. Okay, so in the water's view, you can see that these sinuses are very well seen. These are nothing but your maxillary sinuses. So any maxillary sinusitis or any obstruction over there, you will be or any polyp or any growth, you will be able to easily find out in the water's view. How do you remember the water's view? Just imagine when you are drinking water, your head goes up like this, correct? And your mouth is open. So that is how you remember the water's view. Alright. Okay. Next one. Identify the sinus best seen in this view. Frontal maxillary ethmoid both A and B or both A and C. So another view and another option for you. Batao. How do you identify the sinus best seen in this view? Okay. Pancake is saying the frontal and ethmoidal sinus is found best in this view. Are you sure Pancake and can you tell us what is the name of this view used in ENT? Pancake. 
all right so what is the name of this view this view is called as caldwell's view okay this is called as caldwell's view so in caldwell's view the face is straight in water's view the face was turned upright but in caldwell's view the face is straight okay and in caldwell's view what are the sinuses that you see so when you look straight at the person's face the first sinus that you can see clearly is the frontal sinus and the next few sinuses that you can see are nothing but the ethmoid sinus okay so in calvel's view you can see both the frontal and the ethmoidal sinuses very well so your answer over here is e all right okay moving on to our next question identify the condition in this barium swallow aclasia cardia diffuse esophageal spasm zenker's diverticulum or ca esophagus okay good very quick and very correct answers so this is nothing but your diffuse esophageal spasm when the person eats how is the presentation he presents with dysphagia on solids as well as liquids okay now can you tell me what are the alternate names for diffuse esophageal spasm what are the other names for diffuse esophageal spasm what are the other names for diffuse esophageal spasm you also call at call it as corkscrew esophagus and that is how you identify it on x ray it is called as corkscrew esophagus or also called as nutcracker esophagus barabar can you tell me what is the investigation of choice in this case please don't say barium swallow the investigation that you see in the picture over here is barium swallow but it is not the investigation of choice the pressure in this esophagus is very very high when the patient is trying to absorb the food so the investigation of choice will be 24 hour manometry of the esophagus okay 24 hour manometry of the esophagus all right and what is your treatment in this case anyone since the pressure in the esophagus is so high what will your treatment be you have to reduce the pressure in the esophagus you have to relax the esophagus so what is the drug that you can give to relax the esophagus any idea yes so you can give nitrates that will help in relaxing the esophagus and the second thing you can give is cha calcium channel blockers that is your medical treatment and then in your surgical treatment you can do balloon dilatation which will help okay all right moving on to our next question what is the investigation of choice in this case barium swallow barium enema 24 hr ph manometer uh, ph monitoring or 24 hr manometry okay pancake kissing manometry any other answers all right yes absolutely correct so on identification what is this this is nothing but aclasia cardia this is aclasia cardia what is the appearance that you see in case of aclasia cardia you see presence of bird beak appearance okay so this looks like bird beak appearance on and what is this investigation that we are seeing over here this is also the barium swallow so any kind of esophageal and upper gi tract that is the stomach abnormalities you can do a barium swallow any kind of lower uh, uh, git problems like if you have colonic problems then you can do nothing but a barium enema all right so you have barium swallow and barium enema those are the two things that you can use all right so this is a barium swallow but this is not the investigation of choice for aclasia cardia the investigation of choice for aclasia cardia is 24 hour manometry correct you have to check the pressure in the LES space lower esophageal sphincter place which will be very high okay now what is the medical treatment and what is the surgical treatment in this case what is the medical and surgical treatment anyone sure 
yes absolutely correct the medical treatment in this case is giving the patient yeah surgical treatment is doing heller's cardiomyotomy absolutely right so you're going to cut through the circular and the linear muscles in order to cause dilatation and the medical treatment is giving botulinum toxin injection okay so you give botulinum toxin injection in this case all right okay so this is done about barium swallow this is done about aklesha cardia now the next one is this what is the treatment in this case radio frequency ablation nitrates or calcium channel blockers surgery or botulinum toxin injection okay what do you guys think is the picture telling you about what is the diagnosis of the picture yes very good pancake so this is what is the appearance that you see over here on barium swallow there is a filling defect over here correct contrast is not filling over here why is the contrast not filling in this part of the esophagus no this is not zenker's diverticulum yes nishi you are right it is apple core appearance and apple core appearance apple core means you bite into an apple and the remaining part of it is the core okay so this looks like you've bitten into the apple so in which condition do we see apple core appearance any idea okay so apple core appearance is seen in ca esophagus patient will present with dysphagia first to liquids then progressively dysphagia to solids there will also be more than 10% weight loss in 3 months and what is the treatment that you will give now you have to remove the tumor okay there is no way out you have to remove the tumor either you do a resection anastomosis or if the tumor is very big then you resect the part of the tumor and you use a condu of your choice okay condu means you will replace this part the part which is being removed because of the tumor you will replace it with a condu condu means a channel and this condu is made up of anything it could be made out of the stomach or it could be made of the small intestine mostly made out of the stomach condu of choice is stomach all right so the treatment over here is surgery this is ca esophagus treatment is surgery they will sometimes also ask you about what is the uh surgeries so you have the iver lewis surgery then you have those three incision wala mckeon surgery okay so all those surgeries are your surgeries for ca esophagus all right uh, moving on to our next picture this patient presents with breathlessness pedal edema and symptoms of mi myocardial infarction how will the heart sounds be in this case increase decrease muffled or normal बोलो वॉट इज योर डायग्नोसिस इन दिस केस ओके सो निशी एंड पैनके का सिंग दट द हार्ट साउंड विल बी माफिल्ड कार्तिक इज ऑल्सो सिंग द सेम कैन यू गाइज टेल मी वॉट इज द डायग्नोसिस येस वॉट इज द अपियरेंस ऑफ द हार्ट ओवर योर डेफिनेटली द सी टी रेशियो इज इंक्रीज सी टी रेशियो इज इंक्रीज दैट इज द कार्डियोथोरासिक रेशियो इज इंक्रीज इट इज मोर देन पॉइंट फाइव yes absolutely correct this is nothing but water bottle heart this is presence of water bottle heart this is also seen in cardiac tamponade can you tell me what is beck stride in cardiac tamponade anyone beck stride in cardiac tamponade very good anjana money bag appearance yeah jisko paisa chahiye wo sochega money bag appearance so what is beck stride beck stride has muffled heart sounds that is one of the thing very good anything else two other things present in beck stride yes very good rameshwar you have raised jvp you have hypotension and you have muffled heart sounds so this is your beck stride okay hypotension muffled heart sounds and raised jvp all right so everyone who's joining in late just quickly showing you what we have seen till now we've seen the x ray of waters view and seen the sinuses seen clearly in that calvels view and the sinuses seen clearly in that is frontal and ethmoid 
नट क्राकर इसोफेगस अक्लेजिया कार्डिया एप्पल कोर अपेयरेंस इन सी इसोफेगस एंड मनी बैग अपेयरेंस इन कार्डिया टेम्पोना और राइट नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस पेशेंट मेड द ही डीलेड अ फ्लाइट एट द एयरपोर्ट एंड हैड टू बी ऑफ लोडेड ड्यू टू अक्यूट अपडोमिनल पेन सो दिस गाय वॉट कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई इन हिस केस देर इज इंटेस्टनल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन सिग्मोइड वॉलवेलस कॉन्ट्राबैंड कैरियर और यूट्राइन रक्चर basically this guy was found at the airport and he was just boarding a flight and he started complaining of acute abdominal pain along with acute abdominal pain he has a sudden rise in bp he starts sweating and his pupils show constriction and he becomes very restless okay all these things are happening in this patient can you tell me what is wrong with this patient okay can anyone you all are all messaging contraband carrier but can you tell me what is the meaning of contraband carrier yes most of you are correct it is he is a contraband carrier so can you see this part which is circled over here so this circled part basically shows that there is something that is present in his rectum he stored some pouches of something in the rectum okay so what are these this is these are people who carry drugs illegal drugs okay so drugs like cocaine are mostly smuggled like this so what sometimes if they you keep it inside in a non conducive environment for very long suddenly they will burst inside those packets of drugs or they get absorbed into the system of the patient okay so as a result of this he starts showing high sympathomimetic activity like hypertension sweating tachycardia pupillary constriction and restlessness and acute abdominal pain and the patient can also die because of it yes contraband carriers are also called as body packers so please remember this this can also be one of the other words that is used he can also be a body packer all right okay next question identify this fracture very easy from ortho montegia fracture nightstick fracture shoffer's fracture or galliasi fracture identify this fracture ओके रामेश्वर पैनके का सेम गालियाजी फेज इज ऑल्सो सेम द सेम और राइट कैन यू टेल मी वॉट इज फ्रैक्चर्ड ओवर यूर एंड वॉट इज डिसलोकेटेड येस वेरी गुड मुर्ग इज अ इजी वे टू रिमेंबर दीज फ्रैक्चर्स सो इन मॉन्टेजिया यू हैव फ्रैक्चर ऑफ द अल्ला एंड रेडियस फ्रैक्चर इज सीन इन गैलियाजी all right so this is how you identify the fractures so can you see over here this distal radius fracture that is there and there is also ulnar dislocation so here you can see there is ulnar dislocation plus distal radius fracture so this is nothing but galliazzi fracture all right and can anyone identify this fracture for me ye yeah, identify karo yes so here what are you having you are having the ulna proximal one third of the ulna that is fractured okay and you are having dislocation of the head of the radius okay so this is nothing but our montegia fracture dislocation so how will you remember montegia fracture dislocation like i told you you should just have to remove remember the mnemonic murg in montegia you have ulnar fracture and in radius uh, sorry radius fracture is seen in galliazzi fracture all right okay moving on to our next case patient presents with severe respiratory distress and fall in saturation what is the treatment just wait and watch antiviral agents and symptomatic treatment tracheostomy nebulize adrenaline and antibiotics acha pancake also has a, a special way of remembering it okay nishi is saying d pancake is also saying d can anyone identify the condition for me yes absolutely correct so what can you see over here you can see presence of the thumb sign okay this thumb sign is present in nothing but acute epiglottitis acute epiglottitis you see the thumb sign all right 
Now, what is the question that I want to ask you? What is the most common cause, most common causative agent of acute epiglottitis? And in acute epiglottitis, patient presents with severe respiratory distress, fall in saturation, absolutely correct. There is also another thing positive in him and that is called as the tripod sign. Okay. So, in tripod sign, he will put his hands all down and he will breathe like this. So, it looks like a tripod. Okay. Yes. So, the most common cause of acute epiglottitis is H influenza. So, treatment of H influenza will be with antibiotics and to reduce the swelling of the epiglottis to reduce the inflammation of the epiglottis we will give nebulized adrenaline which will cause vasoconstriction and reduced uh, inflammation of the epiglottis making it easier to breathe okay so this is thumb sign seen in acute epiglottitis all right patient presents with severe respiratory distress fall in saturation what is the treatment in this case just wait and watch antiviral agent symptomatic treatment tracheostomy nebulized adrenaline and antibiotics Similar, no arpita, it is still H influenza. Many places they confuse you about this answer, but the answer is still H influenza, most common cause of acute epiglottitis. Alright, okay. Now, can you guys identify the condition? Excellent pancake. So, uh, very good, Anjana. So, can you see over here what is this? You can see a thin sign over here. It looks like the top of the church. The top of the church has a sign like this. So, this is called as the steeple sign. Steeple sign. And in which condition do we see the steeple sign? It is seen in laryngotracheobronchitis. The other name of laryngotracheobronchitis is also croup. Okay, laryngotracheobronchitis or croup. So, in laryngotracheobronchitis or croup, the patient will have respiratory distress, but actually not very severe respiratory distress. So, the only thing that you need to do in this case is give antiviral agents. Why? It is caused by para-influenza virus. So, you just need to give antiviral agents and you need to give symptomatic treatment to the patient. Now, can you tell me between croup and uh, acute epiglottitis, which is more severe? Yes, very good Nishi. I forgot to tell you guys, in croup, the patient will present with a brassy cough. That is a specific thing that they give in the exam brassy or a barking cough when i was a child my father used to call it kutta khasi because you sound like a barking cough okay kutta khasi okay so can you guys tell me what is more severe acute epiglottitis or croup yes absolutely correct pancake nishi agarwal all of your the more severe form is acute epiglottitis okay and the patient has more respiratory distress in that case all right Patient presents with acute abdominal pain and bleeding per vaginal. What is the treatment in this case? Just wait and watch. Surgery, antibiotics or antifungals? Okay, so can you guys identify what is the problem over here? Yes, very good. So, what it's very clearly seen over here, something is not in the correct place. And what is this thing? This is nothing but a intrauterine contraceptive device or it is nothing but a copper T. So, this copper T has been displaced. It's not in the correct position and it has gone into the uterus maybe it has gone into the myometrium so you need to remove this okay now rameshwar is already answering what i wanted to ask how will you remove it surgery correct but what is the surgery a laparoscopic removal of iucd stat is not the surgery anything else so this displays iucd can cause bleeding it can even perforate and go out into the abdominal cavity pelvic cavity and abdominal cavity what is the surgery done to remove this IUCD? Anyone? Not laparoscopy. Come on guys. You can directly go into the uterus now without opening up the abdomen. Laparotomy. No tomi. No 
लैपरो कुछ और सोचो यूट्रस में जाना है ना क्या करोगे सबको पता है आंसर यस वेरी गुड रामेश्वर यू विल डू अ हिस्ट्रोस्कोपिक रिमूवल ऑफ द आई यू सी यू विल डू अ हिस्ट्रोस्कोपिक रिमूवल ऑफ द आई यू सी डी ओके कॉल्पोस्कोपी अच्छा एम आई सीन और इज इट स्टक या आई थिंक आई एम सीन राइट नो प्रॉब्लम्स ओके वी आर बैक सो यूल डू हिस्ट्रोस्कोपिक रिमूवल ऑफ द आई यू सी डी ओके अरे मूविंग ऑन टू आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पेशेंट प्रेजेंस विद राइट हाइपोकॉन्ड्रियम पेन फ्लैटुलेंस आफ्टर मील्स वॉट इज द ट्रीटमेंट अपेंडिसक्टमी कॉलिसिस्टेक्टमी एक्सप्लोरेटरी लेप्रोटमी और कंजर्वेटिव ट्रीटमेंट ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कैन यू गाइज आइडेंटिफाई वॉट इज दिस रेडियोलॉजिकल एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज बींग डन इज दिस सी टी स्कैन इज दिस एम आर आई इज दिस रेडियो इज दिस इंटरवेंशनल रेडियोलॉजी वॉट इज द इन्वेस्टिगेशन दैट इज बींग डन येस प्रॉपर पैन केक्स एंड निशी अग्रवाल बराबर से डायग्नोज किया so this is nothing but presence of gallstones can you see down you have presence of gallstones and then just over here you have the acoustic shadow of the gallstone yeah so this is a usg of the liver and the gallbladder so this is helping you see the presence of gallstones in the gallbladder okay now this texture that you can see is that of the liver these are the sinusoids of the liver and this is the these are the blood vessels that are supplying the liver all right so your पोर्टल वेन एंड योर हिपैटिक आर्टरी ऑल ऑफ दिस आर द ब्रांचेस एंड उसके पीछे एकदम वोटिब्रा आता है नाउ द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ दिस यू आर हैविंग गोल्ड स्टोन सो इज नथिंग बट कॉली सिस्टेक्टमी ओके एंड इफ यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस इफ यू जस्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन मेक्स इट सो मच मोर ईजियर फॉर अस टू आइडेंटिफाई पेन इज देयर इन द राइट हाइपोकॉन्ड्रियम एंड देर इज फ्लैटुलेंस आफ्टर मील्स और कुछ हो ही नहीं सकता इट्स लाइक अ फैट फर्टाइल फीमेल ऑफ फोर्टी प्रेजेंटिंग विद गोल स्टोन ओके और patient presents with pain in abdomen and hematuria what is the treatment in this case conservative treatment kidney biopsy robsing surgery or symphysiotomy bolo pain in abdomen and hematuria what is the treatment nishi singh rof singh pancake has identified it correctly so this is a horseshoe kidney so can you see the kidney is actually joint they are not one on each side they are joint either at the upper pole or the lower pole you can't say by looking over here so what do you think is the treatment of rof no rof singh surgery is not done for horseshoe kidney for what do we do rof singh surgery it is deroofing of the cis deroofing of the cis so this is done for polycystic kidney disease okay and not for horseshoe kidney what is the treatment of horseshoe kidney anyone you get rosing sign in appendicitis but rosing surgery is done for polycystic kidney disease baap re itna confusion hai tum log ko theek hai so the treatment for this is nothing but conservative okay so pain in abdomen hematuria is okay you tell him that it will resolve on its own if it does not resolve we'll try to find a reason for it but ideally the treatment for horseshoe kidney is nothing but you don't have to do anything just conservative treatment all right and rosing surgery please don't uh, answer that that is seen uh, that is done in polycystic kidney disease okay so this is a patient who came to you in the morning and he is saying that i am having severe pain in my uh, lower abdomen 
and you ask him start asking history and you realize that he had a nice party with his friends last night where they were drinking alcohol and doing uh, cocaine so what is the diagnosis in this case he says he is getting severe obstipation and lower abdominal pain severe obstipation lower abdominal pain and last night he had a nice drunken alcohol party yes absolutely correct so can you guys identify this is a foreign body that is present in the rectum okay so this is nothing but foreign body presence in the present in the rectum and that's why yeah okay pancake got the same case in surgery ward when he was posted as intern wow i actually just thought of it randomly and i added it to the questions but i cannot imagine that someone would end up with this kind of situation so this is a foreign body in the rectum you will have to give him general anesthesia relax him and then remove the foreign body from the rectum all right okay so this is about foreign body in rectum okay next one this is the ct brain of a patient involved in a road traffic accident his gcs is 6 by 15 what is the treatment wait and watch for midline shift emergency neurosurgery give ffp and cryoprecipitate to stop the bleeding insert a ventricular drain to drain the blood acha pancake or she sorry how would i know pancake sounds neutral neither he nor she just hold on one second guys ha huh? yes so what is your answer in that yes absolutely correct so this first of all you all can identify it well this is a extradural hemorrhage correct it looks like an edly i always tell you e for edly e for edly so usse pata chalta hai humko that this is a extradural hemorrhage now you have to look at the gcs of the patient gcs is so low so it does not matter whether this patient is having midline shift or no actually you can see that the midline has started to shift already but you don't have to keep watching for midline shift otherwise this patient will uh, end up in a brain herniation situation so you have to immediately take him for emergency neurosurgery and you have to drain out this extradural hemorrhage okay so you have to do a burr hole and you have to drain out the extradural hemorrhage to make sure that there is no rise in icp all right okay now will you intubate this patient now or will you intubate him during the surgery shall we intubate this patient now or during the surgery mera bharat mahan anesthesia class is from 28 to 25th on the anacademy plus app 28 to 25th march on the anacademy plus app okay in the same question if gcs was fine then yeah so in the same question if the gcs was okay then you could wait and watch for the midline shift for the patient okay yes so you will immediately intubate this patient you will not wait to take him to the operation theater and intubate already his gcs is so low he is at a risk of aspiration and that is why you have at any gcs less than 8 you have to immediately intubate so that he does not aspirate okay all right now can you guys identify this picture for me since you identified this easy picture identify this what does the ct scan show yes very good so that edly shape was edh and this one over here is sdh okay this is your subdural hemorrhage not sh this is subdural hemorrhage okay now can you tell me your subdural hemorrhage is this an acute one or is it a chronic one acute or chronic concave or convex barabar one side convex and one side concave is acute or chronic no this is acute sdh okay remember when it is bright white in color it is acute sdh 
and when it is not very bright in color that time when it is darker in color that means the blood has been absorbed most of it so it becomes a chronic sdh all right okay next one what is the treatment in this case positive pressure ventilation rails tube insertion exploratory laparotomy or all of the above बराबर ऑल ऑफ यूर डायग्नोसिंग इट करेक्टली बट आंसर बराबर नहीं दे रहे दे हैव नॉट आस्क यू व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इन दिस केस दे आर आस्किंग यू व्हाट आर ऑल द स्टेप्स ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट इन दिस केस करेक्ट पीपीवी इज कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड व्हाई पैनकेक नो यू आर रॉन्ग इन दिस ओके सो दिस इज कंजेनाइटल डाइफ्रोमेटिक हर्निया एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट Which side is this congenital diaphragmatic hernia and what is the name? So this hernia is present on the left side, left CDH. Okay, so this is also called as Bogdalic hernia. Left side pe CDH hoga, so this is also called as Bogdalic hernia. Barabar? Yeah. Now Bogdalic hernia me you can see that the intestine is going up, 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 and this is taking up the place of the lung. Correct? So yes. So listen to me. Bag and mask ventilation. Bag and mask ventilation is contraindicated, not positive pressure ventilation. When you do bag and mask ventilation, you are pushing the air not just into the airway but also behind into the esophagus and the stomach and the intestine. So the intestine will increase, increase, increase in size and this part will take over. Correct? But when you are intubating the patient and if you give positive pressure ventilation by connecting him to the ventilator. If you intubate this patient, you know that the tube is in the trachea. See over here. So, in fact, what does this tube in the trachea do? It does something very wonderful, and that is it inflates the lung. Okay. So here, your lung will get inflated. So when your lung gets inflated, it automatically pushes your bowel down through the opening in the diaphragm. So as a result of this positive pressure ventilation through an endotracheal tube will actually help people. in reducing the uh, chances of this hernia all right now rails tube you have to insert so that you can aspirate the air that is present in the intestines and exploratory laparotomy karke you will push the intestines back into the abdominal cavity and you will place a mesh over here just above the diaphragmatic opening all right so that is your treatment for congenital diaphragmatic hernia so all those three things will be the treatment if they ask you what is the first thing to be done the first thing to be done then you can say rt insertion and decompression of the bowel is the first thing to be done but if they ask you just what is the treatment then all three things have to be done all right okay patient comes with acute abdominal pain and history of recurrent gastritis identify the condition ruptured ectopic pregnancy tb of the ileum ruptured gastric ulcer or gastric outlet obstruction okay very good so he is having acute abdominal pain and he is having recurrent gastritis recurrent gastritis means he must be having chronic gastric ulcer because of gerd barabar now suddenly he is having acute on chronic pain so what do you see over here now if you have air collected over here under the left hemi diaphragm it is normal why is it normal because that is the air that is present in the fundic gas shadow of the stomach okay fundus of the stomach also has air so that is very normal but if you are getting air under the right hemi diaphragm then that is pathological always pathological so this is called as right pneumoperitoneum right pneumoperitoneum all right so this is your right pneumoperitoneum and what do you see in your right pneumoperitoneum nothing but a ruptured gastric ulcer okay so 
ruptured ectopic pregnancy not possible because the air will get collected in the uh, pelvic cavity tb of the ileum okay but more importantly uh, if a gastric ulcer is ruptured then you will see presence of pneumoperitoneum because of the bowel gas coming under the right hemidiaphragm and uh, this is also more possible because they are giving a chronic history of gastritis in this patient all right okay what will be the treatment anyone treatment in this case yes treatment in this case will be exploratory laparotomy exploratory laparotomy and you can you have to close the ulcer site and then you have to move ahead with the patient okay all right identify the investigation shown in this picture barium swallow plain x-ray barium infusion barium minima yes sorry grams patch barabar shoeb nishi you absolutely cry right omental patch repair is done okay okay pancake is saying this is barium minima guys remember we have another class at 8:30 pm also okay followed by this 8:30 to 9:30 also we have another class yes absolutely correct so this is nothing but barium enema okay so you have given barium remember barium is never given as infusion it is toxic not a plain x ray because you can see the contrast enhancement over here and barium swallow to nahi hai because barium swallow is always done to find any of the issues of the upper gi tract and the esophagus okay so what is left finally you have barium enema barium enema is given to see any problems in the colon and this is nothing but presence of diverticulosis diverticulosis in the colon okay it is also called as saw tooth appearance sawtooth appearance seen on diverticulosis no the class is on youtube only in that we will be discussing the image based questions from all subjects just like we are discussing x ray from all subjects now we will be discussing image based question from all subjects all right so this is a barium enema okay where are the leads of the pacemaker entering right atrium right ventricle left ventricle both a and b or both a and c okay so how do you identify the pacemaker leads anyone yes absolutely correct so if you have to see this is the lead generator or the battery of the pacemaker from this the electrodes are being given out so let's follow the electrodes it you can see it is going to the right side right parasternal area and one lead is finishing over here the second lead is going down 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 continuing and finishing here okay so you have one lead in the right atrium and one lead in the right ventricle so you have right atrium and right ventricle both a and b all right so the leads of the pacemaker are going into the right atrium and the right ventricle now when you of you all get confused ki left ventricle dikh raha hai right ventricle dikh raha hai kaise pata chalega to remember if there is a bundle branch block you have to pace any one side of the heart okay you either you are pacing any one chamber or you are pacing any one side so you either you will be pacing right atrium right ventricle or left atrium left ventricle there will never be pacing of one side ka atrium and one side ka ventricle so little bit of logic and common sense will also help you guys get through these kind of questions all right okay what is the well known complication of this procedure pleural effusion hemothorax pericardial effusion or pneumothorax
बिछड़े हुए दोस्त मिल रहे हैं अन अकेडमी के मेला में पैनकेक एंड डॉक्टर एंड कैफीन ओके बताओ व्हाट इज द वेल नोन कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ दिस प्रोसीजर यस सो दिस इज नथिंग बट इंसर्शन ऑफ अ सेंट्रल लाइन इन टू द आई जे वी ओके सो दिस इज सेंट्रल लाइन इंसर्शन इन आई जे वी यू कैन सी एंड ड्यूरिंग इन सेंट्रल लाइन इंसर्शन इन आई जे वी द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉम्प्लिकेशन दैट वी मे encounter is pneumothorax how will you know that the patient has had a pneumothorax can you see it's very close to the dome of the diaphragm uh, sorry uh, very close to the dome of the pleura so you can prick it and cause a pneumothorax okay now when you prick it and cause a pneumothorax initially if it's a small pneumothorax patient will not present with anything but if it is a large pneumothorax patient will present with hypotension tachycardia and there will be desaturation okay hypotension tachycardia and desaturation so remember this this can happen very very frequently and that is why you will be avoiding this kind of problems in the patient we have to be very careful about it okay and if there is a pneumothorax immediately you will have to do a needle thoracocentesis or put an icd in the fifth intercostal space mid axillary line that will be the treatment all right okay what is the immediate treatment of the below condition insert rails tube insert icd needle thoracocentesis or conservative treatment get well soon pancake we are all rooting for you but let me tell you from my personal experience having a fracture and being in a plaster is the best thing because everyone does work for you to aaram se baithne ko milta hai and everyone will give you everything in your hand only thing is sit and study don't do time pass okay so what can you guys identify this is not dextrocardia actually the heart is pushed to the opposite side okay so the heart is pushed to the opposite side because you have a massive pneumothorax on this side okay so there is a massive pneumothorax on the left side pushing the heart to the opposite side now you cannot say whether this is tension pneumothorax or no the symptoms have not been given but what will you do in this case you will in immediately do if they are asking you immediate treatment okay so immediate treatment will be needle thoracocentesis always this will be the first thing to be done then you insert an icd so this is your definitive treatment this is your immediate treatment of a pneumothorax in a patient all right okay next one identify the condition that you see in this case now no options just the x ray from the x ray try to identify the condition seen in this patient हाँ हाँ वेट नहीं बढ़ता है एक्चुअली इफ़ यू डू अपर बॉडी एक्सरसाइजेज वेट नहीं बढ़ेगा अर्पिता इन एडल्ट्स वी पुट द आई सी डी इन द फिफ्थ इंटरकोस्टल स्पेस इन द मिड एक्सिलरी लाइन इन चिल्ड्रेन we put the icd in the second intercostal space in the mid clavicular line all right okay so what can you see over here guys you see, you can see there is some cystic cavity coming out let me show you the picture now can you identify let me give you a hint over here this guy is wo band baja barat wala aadmi band baja barat bajate na trumpet blower shenai not shenai that big one pu 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 wala so this is that guy and he is coming to you with a uh, hoarseness of voice and you see that there when you do the x ray lateral x ray and ap view you will see this croup nahi hai yaar yes very good nishi agarwal this is nothing but laryngocele okay so you have an external and internal laryngocele these patients tend to have that cystic dilatation of the laryngeal wall this is called as laryngocele okay all right a chronic alcoholic patient comes with acute abdominal pain 
4 weeks after this episode this is a ct scan what should be done conserve drain under usg guidance test fluid for tb bacilli or cystogygenostomy when i say cystogygenostomy it is this system you can connect it to the jejunum and drain it into the jejunum okay very good so most of you have answered this correctly answer is cysto jejunostomy so can you tell me what is wrong with him he is chronic alcoholic acute abdominal pain and after 4 weeks he is getting this so what can you identify what is this right behind the pancreas this is nothing but pseudo cyst of the pancreas okay so pseudo cyst of the pancreas so if the pseudo cyst of the pancreas is not resolving on its own or if it is increasing in size or if it is getting secondarily infected you need to drain it how do you drain it you connect this cyst to the jejunum and you drain it into the jejunum so you do a cysto jejunostomy that is the treatment of pseudo cyst of the pancreas all right okay next question a 55 year old female comes with pain in the pelvis menorrhagia anemia identify the condition uterine ca ca cervix foreign body in uterus or uterine fibroid chalo 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 jaldi jaldi batao answer i think my video is streaming a little slow as compared to y'all because i am already on the next question and you are still answering the previous one okay ekdam bada sa gola dikh raha hai humko yahan pe बराबर सो शी इज़ ऑलमोस्ट मेनोपॉजल फीमेल शी इज़ हैविंग पेल्विक पेन एंड वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्नोसिस सॉरी हिंट ओवर योर इज दैट शी इज़ हैविंग मेनो रेजिया सो दैट मीन्स दिस हैज़ टू बी रिलेटेड समथिंग टू द यूट्रिस सो लेट्स लुक फॉर समथिंग इन द यूट्रिस ओके ऑल फोर ऑप्शन आर यूट्रिस रिलेटेड ठीक है अभी किस में मेनो रेजिया होता है चारों में से इट इज़ मोस्टली इन द यूट्राइन फाइब्रॉइड फोटो जाके देखो इट लुक्स लाइक इट इज अराइजिंग फ्रॉम द यूट्रस इंट्रा कैविटेटरी फाइब्रॉइड सो दिस इज नथिंग बट यूट्राइन फाइब्रॉइड ओके फेस्ट क्लास अनदर फाइव मिनट सेट से एंड देन रिमेंबर गाइज वी हैव अनदर इमेज बेस्ड क्लास ऑन एट 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 थर्टी पी एम और राइट एट थर्टी टू नाइन थर्टी विल बी हैविंग अनदर क्लास इन विच वील हैव मिक्सड बैग इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स और राइट सो कैन यू आइडेंटिफाई द कंडीशन दैट दिस पेशेंट इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम he is an old patient and he just fell down and after that this is his hip x-ray he is saying he is getting a lot of hip pain so what is wrong with this patient hip dislocation very good can you tell me whether this is anterior or posterior hip dislocation doctor and caffeine this is a calcified fibroid that's why you can see it is this anterior or posterior hip dislocation just looking at the x ray can you tell me okay i'll number this number 1 and then we have number 2 you have to tell me which is anterior which is posterior hip dislocation okay this is posterior hip dislocation absolutely correct is this faber or father father or faber this is father flexion adduction and internal rotation barabar there is at least adduction can be seen internal rotation can be seen well and flexion adduction and internal rotation barabar if you have a look at this what is it it is anterior dislocation of hip so anterior dislocation of the hip may what do you see you see faber barabar what do you see in faber you see flexion abduction and external rotation so the abduction and external rotation can be seen well in this so that is your faber all right so this is father this is faber okay identify the part of the bowel that is distended duodenum jejunum ascending colon or descending colon
very good so what can you see over here you can see that feathery appearance that you see of the jejunum so that is also called as valvulae conimentis and the second thing that will help you identify this is the fact that the dilated bowel is in the center okay so if there is central location of dilated bowel that means it is a small bowel uh, obstruction if the bowel dis distension is on the periphery that means it is a large bowel obstruction so this is a small bowel obstruction usme bhi you can see the featherless characterless valvulae conimentis appearance of the jejunum so this is nothing but jejunum that is looking dilated all right okay identify the condition hydrosalpinx hydroureter displaced copper t or unique cornuate uterus oops sorry bolo fatafat fatafat 5 minute mein we are going to finish it and then we will again meet at 8:30 pm for all image based questions from all subjects mixed yes so this can you anyone tell me what is this injector and what is the name of this test what is this injector and what is the name of this test yeah so this is nothing but your fallopian tubes and you see that they are very dilated okay and they are full of your uterus looks normal but the fallopian tubes look quite distended okay so they this is nothing but hydrosalpinx okay and yeah what is the name of this test this test is nothing but hystrosalpingography hystrosalpingography all right yes now identify condition 1 and condition 2 let me tell you a little bit this is a pubertal female and she is coming with a lot of acne and hair on the face and irregular menses so you ask her to do a ultrasound of the lower abdomen then this one is an infertile 35 year old female and she is currently taking clomiphene citrate she comes with acute abdominal pain what are both of these conditions very good rameshwar so the first one you can see this looks like a pearl necklace sign it is also called a string of pearl sign or pearl necklace sign so this is seen in case of pcos polycystic ovarian disease polycystic ovarian syndrome and this one she is taking clomiphene citrate which is causing hyperstimulation of the ovaries so this is called as ohss ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome so very very nicely read the question read the clinical case scenario they are giving you and then only answer theek okay? hai all right identify the sign tell me in which condition do we see the sign yes so this is not single bubble sign this is double bubble sign you all can see two bubbles na single bubble kahan hai ye this is double bubble sign and in which condition do we see double bubble sign we see it in duodenal atresia single bubble sign is seen as seen in congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis double bubble sign is seen in duodenal atresia okay now identify the electrolyte abnormality in this condition just look at the picture identify the condition from the usg picture that i have given you and then tell me what is the electrolyte abnormality in this case okay absolutely correct so here 
this is nothing but congenital hypertrophic pyloric stenosis that's why you can see that the muscle thickness of the pylorus has increased and the channel length is also distorted so in this case the child will be vomiting out all the gastric acid so he will when the gastric acid is vomited out he lose the chloride so it will be hypochloremic and he lose the h plus ions also so there will be metabolic alkalosis okay so where is the answer yeah a there is hypochloremia and there is metabolic alkalosis so that is what you will see in chpss along with paradoxical aciduria and the last question for today we'll finish after this question identify the bone fractured in this case olecranon process of ulna radial head tibia patella jaldi batao okay so this is the femur this is the tibia this is the fibula yahan pe dikhai de raha hai ye knee hai and the patella is split exactly into half so this is patella fracture how will the treatment be done you will do a tension band wiring okay and if there is a comminuted fracture too many pieces then you can do a partial or a complete patellectomy all right so quickly going to show you all the x rays that we have done and don't forget guys at 8:30 pm we are going to be having an image based quiz 8:30 pm same channel i i'm leaving the youtube link on the telegram channel so uh, you will find me here itself back at 8:30 so this is your patellar fracture chpss double bubble sign in duodenal atresia pcos and ohss usg hysterosalpingography jejunal um, distension then this is posterior anterior dislocation of hip posterior dislocation of hip fi calcified fibroid in the uterus pseudo cyst of pancreas uh laryngo seal pneumothorax central line insertion pacemaker uh diverticulosis then pneumoperitoneum this is congenital diaphragmatic hernia sdh edh foreign body in rectum horseshoe kidney gall stones or cholelithiasis uh this is displaced iucd croup epiglottitis acute epiglottitis montagia fracture dislocation galliazzi fracture dislocation contraband carrier uh, then this is your money back sign seen in cardiac tamponade apple core appearance uh, seen in ca esophagus achalasia cardia bird beak appearance diffuse esophageal spasm or corkscrew esophagus calvels view, sorry calvels view and waters view and the sinus is seen with them so i hope you guys enjoyed this session and don't forget that this is the last day last few hours of getting 20% off on the uh, free on the unacademy plus subscription you can use my code dr janvi live to get 20% off and i will be taking anesthesia from 28th to 25th on the unacademy app so hope to see you all of you all there and 8:30 pm for the class i will be posting the link to the youtube class over here right now so that you all can join in at 8:30 all right